Okay, this is part two of the lab setup. Again, we are going through the Microsoft Official Academic Course for configuring Windows devices in preparation for exam 70-697. Again, I am not the author to this. I do not claim any rights to this. I am simply doing these videos as tutorials to help students walk through the lab manual. My LON-DC1, my first server machine. Um, what I want to do, however, is make some changes. I've read through the rest of this setup, and I want to make some changes to my virtual switch manager before we get too far. So right now I currently have an external switch, an internal switch, and a private switch. I'm actually going to remove the internal switch. And then remove the external switch. And then we're going to add another switch. It's going to be a private switch. And we're going to call it private 2. And then OK. And then oh, yes. switch manager. So now I have my private switch and private 2 and I'm just going to change this so it works instead and just call this private 1. Okay, now we're ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And that's the password we're going to use for all the machines. Okay, so I went ahead and I filled in the IP addresses for the Windows 10 Enterprise machines as well. So this is what we're going to be setting up. Let's go ahead and get this started. I want to go ahead and install the next server, and then we're going to jump back into the DC1 to set it up as a domain controller. So we're going to go ahead and do right-click, new, machine next then dash sbr1 next I'll go ahead and get it started. Okay, next. Pause this while I put in the key. Again, we're going to make sure we put server with a GUI. Accept custom mixed. I'm going to let that run, so I'll minimize that. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and set up the first Windows 10 Enterprise machine. I'm going to go ahead and do New, Virtual Machine, Next, LON-CL1, Now this one's going to have more RAM than the other ones are, I'm going to do 4096. Next, private and storage. 
we're just going to be 60 next finish. Okay, so this is still installing, so I want to go back to my first machine, which is here. And go into my server manager dashboard. I click on local server. And I'm going to click on IPv4 address. Okay, left click, right click, properties, go on here, go to properties, and we're going to assign an IP address. 172, 10, tab. And this is going to be the domain controller, so we're going to assign that here. Oh, domain, I'm sorry, it's going to be the domain controller and the DNS. 172, 10. OK, and then close, close. Now we're going to go ahead and install Active Directory and DNS. We're going to do that through Manage. Add roles and features. And next. Next, next. So we want to choose Active Directory Domain Services. And then add features. Choose DNS Server. Add features. Next, 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 install. Let me find out why I got that error. Right click. Change adapter settings. Properties, IP4, properties. It's correct. And then OK. Close. 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 All right, let's check on our other machine. It looks like we are still installing, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this video while we wait for the next step. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and click on Promote this server to a domain controller. Add new forest, and then the domain name is datum, d a t u m dot com. And next, Okay, 
put in password. And next, next, next. Next. Okay, then install. I'm gonna pause the video while we wait for that. Okay, so we this is the server one, so that second server that we've installed. Let me kind of add password. Now that this is installed, what I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to go ahead and media, dbd, eject the ISO. Actions. I'm going to turn this off for now. <coughs> Sorry, shut down. Okay, minimize that, get back into my Hyper-V, see where our other machine is at, and it's still installing the Active Directory Domain Services. Try and get this to install. This is the Windows 10 Enterprise. Okay, so we're going to go and install our first Windows 10 machine. Next, install now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and accept the terms. Next, custom, next. Okay, so our first enterprise machine is installing. Minimize that. Let's go back to our domain controller. 
it looks like it's still doing its thing. Basically what happened is once you install the, the main controller and the DNS, it has to reboot. And when we go to sign back in, we're going to sign in under that new domain that we created, the datum. So while we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and get another machine going. New machine ln sbr 2 next next 2048 next private next 60 next all ISO open next finish okay, we'll go ahead and get it started Next, install. Pause while I put this in. Okay, and again, we're going to do server with GUI. Next, accept the terms. Next, custom. Next, Let that go there. Let's go back to our domain controller. Okay, so now we have the opportunity to log in as a datum administrator, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, put in our password. Again, this is the one we're using for everything throughout these labs. Okay, we are back on DC1, the first machine that we installed. And we want to go into the DNS Manager console. So we're going to click on Tools. And then DNS. I'm going to minimize the dashboard for a minute. Okay, so now we're in the DNS Manager. We're going to go and expand this. And here you're going to see forward lookup zones, reverse lookup zones. We want to click on uh, forward lookup zones first and expand it. Here you see we have this one and then this one. We're going to go and click on the datum. I'll go ahead and expand it. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and click on right click properties. Here we want to change this from secure only to non secure and secure. And then click on OK. Now I want to go ahead and click on the reverse lookup zone. Right click. I'm going to do right click, zone. And next, 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 and this is going to be one, seven, two, one, six, next. And we're going to go ahead and do that one alone. Go ahead and click on next and finish. Okay, I'll go ahead and close out of the DC DNS manager. And we're going to create a folder. I'm going to open up Explorer. Okay, click on the C drive. And we're going to create a folder called software. Enter. And now we're going to go ahead and right click on it and go into properties. on the sharing tab, advanced sharing, share this folder, permissions, allow, full control, on OK, and then close. So there are several files we need to put in here, including the Server 2012 ISO, the Windows 10 ISO. There's also going to be a Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit, or ADK, for Windows 10, a PowerPoint viewer, and then we're just going to create a test PowerPoint presentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and Minimize this for now. And see where we're at with the other machines. Okay, so CL1 is still installing. And SVR2 is still installing. So what I'm going to do is for time, I'm going to kind of end this video here and on the next video I'll show you where to get all of the files that you need for that folder, where to put it, and how to get it into that folder. And then we'll continue adding the other.